Hello, this is Red, and welcome to a new series on the Creative Gardens. This server is my oldest server. It goes back to February 2016. Now, because of this, it relies on a lot of older software. February uh, 2016, that's almost four years ago. Mods, many mods are stuck at older versions because updating them would break so much because of all the changes. For this reason, I wanted to create a video series to preserve all the great creations over the years on Creative Gardens because there will come a day where I'll have to shut it down. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. I will have to shut down the server and because of that I want to make a video series on all the great creations people have made over the years. This is our first episode on Old Spawn Town. the original spawn town and surrounding areas like New Icy Beach. There are several turnpikes on this server. First there's the turnpike that goes between the new spawn area made several years later. You'll see that now. This is the new spawn area. This one is the old spawn area from back in 2016. There's the rural turnpike. That's the turnpike that goes into the woods. Summer camp is a very remote area. There's also the residential turnpike, which goes to like home kind of areas, residences. There's the administrator's estate. We'll do that in another episode, but that's an example. There's also the commercial turnpike, which are for landmarks, business areas, Favorite one is the Vaporwave Mall. We'll cover that in another episode because I know everyone likes that. So you can see an old spawn town. There's a lot of roads and and street signs. A lot of things in the area. Now, this is actually called Flashy Street. You'll see that back there. The reason it's called Flashy Street is because back in 2016, there was a huge unfinished house with protection marked that somebody never finished. His name was Flashy. I don't like to clean up things that are by idle players. I like to let people leave stuff. But this had gotten too long, and it wasn't finished, and it was ugly. So the only time ever that I actually removed protection and cleaned stuff, all well, other than griefers. And it's another thing too. Long time ago, I used to be really strict with with people, and I banned uh, a little too many people. I was very ban happy over griefs that weren't a big deal. At some point, I realized I was a jerk, and I decided to only do for the most part temporary bans. I cleaned out the ban list and on all my servers, and for the most part, if you played years ago and you want to go back. Uh, feel free to try because very few people are still banned. And also, I apologize for using rude language and stuff at Griefers. That's all done, and I only do 3-month, 6-month, 12-month bans now. Now, there are a lot of things down there, a pirate ship, rocket. We'll do all those, and we'll do the rocket in this episode, but... look at the the other stuff in another episode. Now this here is New Icy Beach. The reason it's called New Icy Beach because there was an old Icy Beach on the previous server, the Terrarium. When I set up the Terrarium, that was 2015. It existed for like five months. I piled on a lot, a lot of mods and many of them were buggy and would crash. And So I just decided that at one point I would basically just wipe it out. So I did that in February 2016. I started the Creative Gardens as a replacement for the terrarium. And so there are a number of references to the terrarium in certain areas, like the hotel. We'll do that in another episode. And that's why it's New Icy Beach, because the old one was called Old Icy Beach.
a lot of these people had logged on since 2016 that you're seeing right here. By the way, the reason the audio was muted in this video is because I originally made a, a video and I, my mic was all the way up and I had really bad quality. So I decided to do things a different way and as a result I had to redub this audio. In future episodes will have audio that you'll hear the audio of the game and me on top of it. But I had to mute it all if I wanted to redub this with something better. I also got rid of a lot of the redundant dialogue when I made this remake. Now this is pretty neat. I'll show you how it is at night. It's a disco somebody made. Now at this point, when I first started the server, I put in Mies cons, but there was no Mies restrictions yet. So people made all these machines that were really nice looking. But there were a lot of people who had the Mies cons last. They made really machines that were just going and running like 24-7 for years. Then the server got slower and slower, but eventually I made changes so that wouldn't be possible. And things got a lot faster. One of these changes was to get rid, put in Mies restrictions. So only a few trusted people, currently myself, can use the Mies things that could cause damage or make things slow. Currently it's only me, but who knows, maybe I'll allow other people if they want to. Now, but as you can see before then, people were making really nice Mies cons, a lot of them, like this disco. A lot of unknown items you see here, and that's because there were changes to the mods over the years, and some of them I couldn't upgrade, I mentioned before, and it got stuck back, but others, there have been changes, and since people haven't logged on in certain areas, like this older area, that's why I see a lot of unknown items. A lot of things people built here, mostly 2016 and 2017 when these things were built. can't turn those on because they're protected at one point. It was different, but they update things. Now, there are Parker games here. This is a Parker game. I, uh, I'm not very good at Parker myself, but some of them are easy, some of them are hard. But people make really nice ones. Now, this one is a bunch of things in Spanish. I don't really know Spanish other than what I can plug in through Google Translate. But as you can see, they're really nice and people make really good things. But I'm not very good at Parker. Looks very nice at night. Of course, it's a lot slower.
There are roller coasters, railroads, carts. Coffee machine at the top. Put on full range mode because it's a lot nicer. Of course, a lot slower, as I said. Now over here, what you see is Neancats. Now Neancats were a part of mine test in the older versions, but because of a trademark dispute, they had to remove them from the game. And for older servers which had them, they had to put in something called PB&J Pup. This was a replacement that was freely licensed rather than a trademark like the Neancats were. But Nobody wanted it, none of the developers liked it, so they got rid of it. And my other servers, Digital Farms, Valleys, I actually, they were too new, so I didn't need to replace the you cats. Know, I could just get rid of them. But on Creative Gardens, it was old and there would have been broken stuff, so I put in the PB&J pup. It was a uh, hack which replaced it, but that's uh, another reason the server is old and relies on things like that to get it to work. I liked PB and J Pup, but most people didn't. Now, I want to show you something here. This is towards the back of Icy Beach, no, new Icy Beach. Here you see there's two exits for the two turnpikes all the way in the back of Icy Beach, new Icy Beach. And near there is a house and a funny message that I want to show you. There's Red's Beach House. It's the one of the oldest houses I made on this server. As you can see, there's the coordinates if you want to teleport there. And that sign I'll get into in a minute. Across uh, years later, somebody wrote this locked sign. This house, Red Beach House, is closed by Johnny and Mr. Walter. Yeah, it was just a prank, I guess. But I put, don't listen to the neighbors. Red's Beach House is open. Now let me show you. There's the living room. Office. The kitchen in there. We go up the stairs. Let's see. Now that's the secret room. The that's my secret travel net, which could be hidden in that locked area that you can't get to. We'll go over that in another episode. There's a book. Used to be for the home decor mod pack that the book came from is that if you put a book down, even if it was in a protected area and it wasn't written in, anyone could write in that. I like that behavior a lot, but they didn't, I guess Vanessa didn't like it, so she got rid of that ability, although I don't know how to put it back the other way. Now there's one other area I want to show you that's pretty neat. People built like 
sky villages and stuff like that. And there's a castle, medieval kind of castle area that I want to go over with you. This was built back in 2016 and, and it was never finished, but still very nice looking. up here you can see there's a nice view here put on full range mode and you can see all the things that have been built because of this I don't have fast or fly because it'll just be way too slow and mobile users uh, especially will start crashing on my other servers I have fast but not this one I don't know what CIA is <laughs> I think it was something and then uh, it was changed to removed you can go around here. I guess this guy's name is Almo with a U. Built this. So travel net hidden in the wall. There's a railroad, I guess, to get up here. I don't know. Over here, you can see I can't speak that language, but there's a nice bar kind of thing, an evil tavern. And over here you can see the castle, although it looks like it was never finished. It still looks nice anyway. Now if we go around. There's water down there. There you could see something that wasn't finished looked like a nice thing though up there. There's one other thing I want to get at though, one more thing in the back. Over there you see I think it's Green Street, it's called. The reason it used to be like Cataract Street or something, and there was a they called it that because there's a ton of water under here that I couldn't get rid of. But at some point along the way, I used World Edit and got rid of it all and changed the name. Travel nets, chests, nice house there, although it was torn apart due to bad protection. There's no damage on Creative Gardens, so you can just jump off and fall.
again try to climb up. I want to show you what the is up there because it's really nice. The rocket ship that somebody made, Bizarro 420. I don't know. Especially looks good at night and in full range mode. And so that's it for our first episode of series on the Creative Gardens. This is the revised audio version. And I hope you like this.